<clears throat> well, good morning, boys and girls. I said, good morning, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. That is some good stuff. You know what? I am really looking forward to being able to do that again with you someday in the future. I enjoy being able to be with you and feel your excitement about that, and it's just not the same, you know what I mean? So hopefully, Lord willing, in the future we'll be able to get together. We don't know when, but we're thinking about that. So I have a picture coming to me. It's on my computer. So let me take a look, and then we will discuss this. All right, so this is from the Bailey family. Oh, would you look at that. William is wearing a hat. Now, it kind of looks like it's a visor hat. Excellent, but it's a hat. It looks like something that he made himself. That is really good. It's orange and green. Did you pick those because those are your favorite color? Maybe? Because I know that I enjoy making things that are of my favorite color. And as you're wearing a hat, like, what's the purpose of your hat? Right, it's sun, to keep the sun off, to kind of keep your yourself out of the sun so that it doesn't hurt you. But I'm just thinking, you know what? You probably had somebody who helped you with that, didn't you? Did your mom help you with that? Maybe your dad? Well, tomorrow is a really special day. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I wonder if your mom helped you make that. And I bet you you're so thankful for your mom. And all of us are thankful for our moms. Because not only do they help us make things that are cool and even have our cool favorite colors and designs that we really enjoy, but moms also want to protect us. And above all, our moms want us to have a relationship with Jesus. Because our moms do a very good job of helping love us, protect us, know who we are, and care for us. And you know what? It's God has given you a mom to give you a picture somewhat of how God loves you. And that's a great thing to remember on Mother's Day. And some people don't have that in their mom. And that's kind of sad. And so tomorrow is going to be a happy day for some of us, but it might be a sad day for some others. And you know what? If you're sad tomorrow, if you've been separated maybe from your mom or, or something of that, do you know that God wants to be your protector? He wants to be the one that not only has made this world for you to enjoy, but he's also the one that wants to protect you and to protect you from sin. And so he sent Jesus to die for you, to make a way for you to be able to be with him for all of eternity and also to walk with him in this life. And we are so thankful for our moms. We're so thankful for the way that they care for us, the way that they love us, the way that they know us. And in that's just a small glimpse of the way that God cares for you, the way that God knows you, and the way that God wants to protect you. So William, that's a great hat. I hope you're enjoying wearing it. The weather is not that great this weekend, but hopefully the sun will return and that will be really helpful. Thank you very much for sending that and uh, appreciate that picture a lot. Hopefully you enjoy it. So let's pray and then you can go about the rest of your day. Dear God, we are so thankful for moms and we are so thankful for the way that they care for us. And Lord, we're so thankful that even though we know our moms are not perfect, we know that you are and that you want to care for us, love, and protect us. And so, Lord, as we celebrate mothers tomorrow, wait, may we also celebrate your love for us and your care for us and the fact that you know us more than anybody else. Thank you so much for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.